Hey guys, what is up? My name is Michelle, welcome. Wait, this is for members, you know who I am. We are doing a HIIT workout today, strength and cardio. Yes, you guys asked for it, I'm gonna deliver. We have 11 moves in each block, two blocks. We're gonna do 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition. Hey, this is no repeat. So we're gonna do one time through, Give me all that you got. I'll make sure that I preview the moves so that you know exactly what you're in for here. So let's get this party started. We're gonna warm up. Good to see you guys. About a four minute warm up to get you ready for the workout because I want you really warm. My weight selection today is five all the way up to just 12. I know I said just 12. Just because we're doing a lot of compound moves we don't need to be doing heavy. And we're not like, seriously, we're not really building muscle here. We do, you know, this type of training is what we consider like a fat burning training, but it really doesn't build the muscle as much as just a strength workout, FYI. That is the truth. So I'm gonna start my music and then we're gonna get right into this. I am using my epidemic music because I just, I'm really getting tired of being, everything being pushed out of here for copyright claims. One of these days we're gonna do it though, we'll do some really good music. So if you're ready to, always make sure you leave comments too if you're catching the replay. I love hearing from you guys. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Bigger rolls, open it up. And then just check in with your body, right? Big inhale, reach it up, inhale. Elbows pull back. Relax, do it again. Two more. Set that intention. You're gonna have a great workout, right? Good, you're gonna start to squat down and up. And you can use that music right now, but in the workout, you're gonna go to your rhythm. You're gonna go pushing yourself. Lunge back, left leg, and just move your hips down and up. Just start to get a little hamstring stretch in the back of the leg. Settle in the lunge and twist. Reach it back, sweep it forward and pause at the top. Step in, switch for the lunge, dropping in your hips. This is where you wanna get that intention. What is my intention today? What am I gonna get out of this workout? I'm gonna burn and build a little bit here. Drop in the lunge, reach it up, sweep it back, reach it back up, and step it in. Shifting lateral lunges. So open the feet up wide, shift over to the right, center and left. Now in that lateral lunge, you can turn that foot a little bit out, dropping the chest flat. Let's add a little element in the back. You're gonna reach the arms in T when you drop in your lateral. Then in. So you have to engage your waistline. Two more. And then we're walking out to plank. Inchworm, round down, walk it out. One knee to the chest, walk it back. Sweep all the way up, walk it out. Other knee comes in. Walk it back. Take your time getting out there. And then when you get there, you bring that knee in towards your elbow or your chest. There is no wrong. You got time for one more. March or jog. Start to bring up that heart rate. You're gonna see movements that are strength focused, others that are cardio. When we're in those cardio moves, try to give me all that you can. Bring the knees up a little bit in front. Same thing if you're marching. Pull them up more in front. Brace your core. Hand goes butt cheek, face cheek. Jack or tap. Ah. 
All right, we are getting ready. How are you feeling about this? Feeling good about it? I know I am. All right, squat. Pick up the pace. You move. I'm going to show you the first move that we're going to do. I'm going to use my 12. Left hand, right leg is a split stand squat. I curl it, I press it. That is your first movement. Should be your heaviest weight that you've got. Again, we're going to do 40 seconds of effort with a 15 second transition to the other side. All right. Deep breath here, please. Let's go. 10 seconds. Right leg stays, left leg is back. A little kickstand position here. Other arm can be out. Drop, press. Now, it's not about speed, but you are gonna feel like you can go fast. It's about having good alignment. When I'm picking it off the floor, I'm gonna keep my eyes a little lifted, my core braced, and push through the heel. So I'm coming down with a flat back. So we don't need to look completely down at the ground. Again, you're looking out in front. Remember, you just go one and done on these, right? One time and we move. Nice job, switching the leg. So again, just do one slow so you know the movement. Pushing your heel, not your toes. Get ready. Start. Go all the way up to that ceiling. The core and the leg help you to rise from the bottom. Yeah. How's that posture? Just checking where your eyes are. 10 seconds. I know you don't get a timer to see. I'm gonna be using a 10 jack press two or tap and drop in that squat or step out. So here's some options, right? Down. Press two, drop, pop in. And again, we're not gonna go to the beat of the music. Do your rhythm. Remember, take the options. You can do that too, right? When you drop, I stay up still in that squat. You don't have to touch down. I'm gonna go for my 12s. Lunge back, pulse. Hold the curl for two, and then switch. Down, two, switch. Down, two, step in. So when you're curling, I don't want you to just throw it up there and stop it. Keep squeezing it. All right, effort in that curl. So you're not resting anything. And I'm gonna go fist, kind of turns in. Down, two, push through the heel to rise up. Use more butt. Next move. No weight. Great job. Harder version. Ski hop over or skaters. You got 40 seconds. Get into that little bit of a squat. Pull it up and in. Over. Or if you do battle ropes, right, you're throwing them down. Up and over or skate. 
Okay, you have plenty of options here. Whenever you're jumping off the ground, you have to use your core, right? Helps you to absorb it. Softness in the knees. Come on, up and over. You can even do more heels. Like you're jumping over something. Woo! All right, skull crushers on your back. I got 12s. We're gonna bridge. We're gonna go one knee in. Actually, as you kick the leg, the arms up, you're gonna kick a leg up. So in bridge, extend the arms and kick one leg. Inhale down, exhale up. There's confusion here. Just do skull crushers. In bridge. Full range of motion here, come on. Skull crushers, arms drop at about a 90. Then all the way up to the sky. We're gonna be in a plank with an arm leg reach. Walk across with a push up. All right, no weight. Come to one side of your mat, inside arm. You heard that, right? Inside arm, outside leg, reach, push up, two walks across. Inside arm, outside leg, push up, two walks across. So reach in opposition. And if you're confused, you could do one push up and just walk across. This is gonna make you think. Right, great strength, core. Just remember, arm and leg reach, drop in the push up, walk across. Less than 10 seconds. No equipment here. You're gonna squat and then criss cross the legs. One and then the other. Or sweep it across. We're gonna drop, drop, cross. Take your time. 40 seconds gets long here. Remember, drop, squat, cross. All right, halfway there. Focus on, ha, exhale in. Focus on your breath right now. Bend up rows. I'm gonna go back to my 12s. Alternate rows. Woo. Nine of 11 here. Dropping the chest. One, and then the other. So I'm staying about a 45 degree angle. Elbows pull up and in. Give yourself a good base. You could drop your body even further. You know your back. It's hot in the house. How about your house? Option to use weight for a lateral lunge to the right. I'm gonna do a 10. You're up. Just a lateral lunge to the right. Lunge knee up. Do you want more than that? You can always do more. Lunge knee or lunge reach. Kind of like that. How about you? I'm probably sure you do too. We like those big movements. And I've got this awesome mat. I'm going to give you guys information about this mat. This is great because I can do it for everything. It's a huge mat. Come on. Full body right here. Down 
to the foot, up to the sky. All right, switch those arms and legs. And then you have 30 seconds to get water. And then we're coming in for some burpees. That's the only burpees we're doing today. Same thing, knee. You can reach it up. You get down to the ground because you use a flat back. Eyes look out in front. Looking good, come on. You're doing so great. Pushing here to the end. Four, three, two, one, 30 seconds, that's it. We're gonna do a burpee. Jump back, jump in, run to the other side and burpee, or just shuffle, okay? Ready, 15 seconds left. <laughs> I need a drink of water. Burpee, shuffle over, or just stay up and shuffle. You have that option, ready, set. Burpee, shuffle. We'll run it over, you can feel like you're doing a little step overs to make it feel different. Burpees are great for as we get older. Because if you fall off the floor, dang, you can just pop yourself back up with that burpee. Five seconds. Woo! Eights around the world's shoulders. Thumbs are up. Oh yeah. Eight or five. Thumbs up. Brace your core. All the way up. All the way down. Know your body's range of motion. You can make it just a lateral raise. You can make it upright rows. All right, let's pick up the tempo just a little bit here. Sumo hammer curl. Maybe back in my 12s. Great job. I'm gonna go for my 12s. Come into a sumo squat, alternate hammer curls. As you pulse, in your sumo squats. Chest is a little bit forward. If you want more, heels can come up and try to balance. Push into your bigger toes. Turn side. Back is flat though. I like the challenge of the heels up just a tiny bit. Hammer curls. Fist to shoulder. Chin up, belly, oh, it's on, come on, 10 seconds, seal jacks coming up, we got four with a double hop, weight down, four of these, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, four seals out in. Right, out in four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, out. Double, hop over, four. Let's get to do some single leg stuff. Go through your ankles. A leap. Whew. Right, one dumbbell, eight or five. Kick back, right arm, 
Right arm, left leg extends back, all four. Kick back. Shine your shoulders and hips down. Kick back. Leg stays up, knee shines down. Press to your bottom hand. All right, pull your chin up a little bit. Go out in front. While you're there, lift your leg up. Isometric hold in the leg versus just moving it. You actually will work harder. Now, straight arm, straight arm, palm up, knee, hip. Oh, press it back, harder. That tricep press back, straight arm. Come on, three seconds. All right, switch those legs. Roll your wrists a little bit here. Okay, pull up your pants if you need to. Get in position here. Left arm, right leg, kick it back. Look out in front. Hey, good alignment here. Don't sink in your body. Lift out of it. Create energy right now. Right, not only just with your body, with movement, but with your mind. Do that internal checklist. Palm up, straight. Press it up and back. Oh. Well, we got a new move. No wait. Forward lunge. My real right foot is gonna go forward lunge, back lunge, switch jump, other leg. Forward lunge, back lunge. If no jumping, just back lunges. Right leg, forward, hold, switch. Then you go forward, back, switch. Forward, back, switch. Or just do back lunges. Or be a beast and just do switch lunges. Come on. Move seven. up. Nice job. Deadlift curtsy lunge. Got my 12s. Deadlift first. Left leg goes back curtsy. Curl up hold. And then other leg. All right. Deadlift. Curtsy. Super job. Pull that weight up to the shoulders. Use your core to help it. It's like a little, oh, but clean. Inhale, exhale. Come on, power from the bottom. Oh, great job. One, two, jump or step over and step over two. No jump if you don't want it. All right, two steps. And a jump. One, two. Then with bent knees. When you land, you stay in that squat. You walk over. Great job. We're gonna be plank next. Five, four, three, two, plank, pull through, one weight. I got my 12 over my left. Right there. Pull it through. Shoulder tap two. Pull it through. Shoulder tap. Pull it through. Shoulder tap. Grab the weight. Slide it through. Shoulder tap. What was I doing? Great. While you're doing this, try to keep the hips steady. 
So open up your face. All right. Pull through. Shoulder tap. Chin up. You know where your weight is now. There's going to be some wiggle in the hips. Try to stop as much as you can. One more move. Good job. All right, on your back, fly. All right, so I'm going to go 10. Keep it moving. Something happened here. This does it with my music. I don't know why. Keep it moving. Fly. Bicycle legs. All right, open and close the arms, and the legs go in and out. Go for it. Whew. I'll check that. Ooh, good job. What you got for your weights here? Are you flying? Oh, we are at the end, you guys. What a great sweat sesh here. We're gonna go into a quick, about 10 minute core. Same thing. All right, I'm gonna do a few more. I was late to the party. How about you? Two more. Yeah. Or more. How about you want more? Three, two, one. You're done. Woo. Nice job. All right, you guys. You did amazing. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go ahead and get yourself a little drink of water. Get that drink of water towel off if needed and we're going to come into the core so I'm going to give you just a short break here 10 moves the last two three the last four we're going to use dumbbells so like five or eights I think I'll need to do eights so I'm going to leave them them out okay but you guys are doing good good to have you again even on the replays, always good to come and come back to workouts that you enjoy. Hey, save them in a playlist. You can create your own playlist of your favorites. All right, let's get some music and then we're going to come into 40 seconds of effort for bicycle. Take a deep breath. Go at your own pace. Take a deep breath here. I'm just going to get my timer set. Bicycle starts in 10 seconds. You can go fast or slow, and then we turn around for mountain climbers. Okay, chest is up. So go at a pace that's gonna challenge you. Legs are low, they extend out. Elbows tap inside the knee. Really lift those shoulder blades off the mat. It's not about if your elbow doesn't touch the inside of the knee. I don't care. Just stay more lifted. Keep pushing it. Four seconds. Three, two, mountain climbers. I guess my music doesn't want to work here. Get in plank position. Shoulders push down away from the ears. Climb the mountain slow or fast. You could be up with high knees. You can cross the mountain, keep it moving. I don't know about you, I want music, don't you? Oh my gosh. So keep climbing your mountain. Whew. Whew. I'm a dripping sweat, how about you? It's always hotter in the house, isn't it? Whew. All right, keep it pushing here. After mountain climbers, we're on our back. So we're on our back, and we're going to do right knee, and then right kick. Hands behind the head, knee, kick. Rotate, lift up. Option, really lift. Not on the knee, maybe. Maybe on the kick. A little challenge. Different.
when the hands stay by the head. Adds more resistance. Ooh, switch the legs. Oh, that was harder, wasn't it? Didn't you like that? Okay, let's go to the left. Knee. Kick. Twist. Get up there. And it's always good to just test the water. If you're like, ooh, I can't do that for 40 seconds. Hey, at least you tried. Used to put in that effort of just saying, hey, I'm gonna just try it. And that's what you need to do in your life. Believe me, I'm doing a lot of things that I'm not comfortable with, but I fail when I don't try. Oh, feet come up. We're crunching to those feet. We're at tabletop, knees over hips. Drop the feet, that's resistance. up. Extend that leg out. You can always drop your hips down. If your leg is extended out. You're circling that leg small. Has a little spice to the forearm plank. Right? <laughs> Reverse it. Little lifts up here of the leg. You got a great alignment. You should feel like you're on a balance beam. If your hand is behind your head, push your head into your hand. There we go. Other side. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. Elbow hips. Knee. Leg is up. Circle. Oh yeah, harder on this side because that other side is reverse the circle. This side is a little fatigued, huh? Little lifts. And then the dumbbells come out for dumbbell sit up. Ooh, that was tough. Oh, I'm gonna use my eights on your back. Look at the sky. You're gonna sit up, punch the weight up. Reach it up. Throw it a little, chest press. Control up, control down. Roll your spine off the mat. Do a little thumb up, hold with the arms. Can you come up to seated? Legs up. V tucks. Out, in, legs out, in. Or you get rid of the weight. Oh, we're gonna beast mode on, right? Symmetric holding those arms. A 
Leg drop is coming up next. Weights are still stay in the hands. Oh, I can't do any more. Oh. Legs up. Arms up. Leg drops. Option. One arm. And the other arm. We'll pull over. Inhale, drop. Exhale, up. Back of the head on the mat. Bent knees, the knees are on the back. One more move. All right, plank. One dumbbell fly in the middle of your chest. Open your feet up wide. Fly one arm, back in the middle of the chest, switch, and then the other arm. When your feet shine your body down, hands on the ground, push directly through the heel of the hand. Yep, nobody's watching. You gotta keep an eye on yourself. Do you know if your body's cheating? Oh, knees down, child pose. That was 11. Yep. Ooh. Great job. Up dog. Or sphinx, you can be on your elbows. Great job today, you guys. Got it in and out. Down dog it. Stay in that down dog. I'm gonna turn on a little bit more relaxing music here so you can get your mind a little bit to cool down mode. <sighs> Yay. Woo, walk your dog if you're in down dog still. Bring some blood to your head. Step your right foot forward and lunge. If you're on your mat, knee goes down, reach up, reach back. Come back to center, side reach. You can do tricep stretch with that. So I can do tricep stretch. Hey, push your head into your hand. Open up the front of your body here. All right, so you're in lunge. Reach back up, and then hands go down. Pull the back foot in. Pyramid stretch. Now come back and lunge. Reach back up. Pyramid, pull back in. Two more of those. Pyramid. One more time. Lunge. Pyramid. Pull pyramid. Hand on the foot, and then open up, kind of a little pyramid triangle. Spin open your chest. All right, hand goes down. Open it up again. One more time, hand goes down. Open up. Straddle front, just turn the feet. Bend the knees, open up into a little sumo squat there. the hands together. Push into your heels, right? It's good to work on this position here. Now just straighten the legs for a moment and then come back down. Do one more of those. Great job. Lunge. Knee down. Reach up. You do side reach and then tricep. Grab that elbow. So I'm grabbing my elbow. Pushing the head into the arm. Mobility, flexibility is so key, you guys. Because when we don't have it, we can't get more out of our workouts. It helps us get into recovery mode. So important. I see the numbers of people doing the recovery workouts versus the killer workouts. There's a dramatic difference there. All right, here we go. Lunge, reach. Pyramid. 
do that again. And then here's what usually happens. People don't do those things until, guess what? They get hurt. Pyramid. Why wait? Prevention. Lunge reach. Pyramid. One more of those. And then pyramid. Hold. Hand on that foot. We're gonna open up into a little pyramid triangle. Push into that foot, right? So spin open your chest. Hand goes down. Open up. One more time. Open up. Oh, come on, push open. Back down, spin it front. <sighs> open up wide, really wide. Open it up, spread those legs. All right, push into the heels, get your elbows to the ground. Open up your hips, ladies. These are huge sockets of tension. Drop your forehead. Walk it in now, bring your knees to the ground. Feet go out, you ever seen this in yoga? I really don't know what it's called, but your feet go out wider than your knees. It's really awkward, and then you push back. That's like, oh my gosh, something's gonna break, right? Push back, you can come to your elbows. A little bit of a frog, they might call it a frog stretch. And then on all four. Fingers face your toes, lean into your fingers. So the palm lifts up here. And then tuck your toes, stretch your toes. Lift up into kneeling. Side stretch, one way. Side stretch the other way. We're gonna need a lot of mobility here with the stretching here. One more time. Round front. Open your chest. Round. Open. Can you not touch the floor to come up? It's okay if you did. Reach it up. No judgment here. Reach it back. Pull it into your heart. One more time. Big inhale. Have that attitude of gratitude. And pull it down in. Touch your skin. Take a big inhale here. Let it go. Hearts are shooting out to you. Love you guys. Be grateful to this body. What other things are you grateful for? Sometimes just take a moment. Be like, okay, I'm grateful for the air that I breathe. I'm grateful for the ground that I walk on. When we have that attitude of gratitude, it can depress any of these other anxieties or stresses sometimes. So try that. Just think about all the things you're grateful for. And then you'd be like, oh, whatever I was stressing about is really not that big of a deal, right? We make it a big deal. So you can create a different feeling. You just got to do something about it, right? You, my friend, did amazing. I hope you enjoyed this workout. And we'll see you back again at the lives. I'm gonna say hello to everybody who made it here. How are we feeling? How'd you like that 14 day whew, challenge? Oh, thank you, Jacqueline, Sarah, Patrice. Good to see you guys. Good to have you eyes in the house. If you ever have any questions, I know somebody was having issues with the Recess TV. I'm gonna make a video so that you understand when you're going to Recess TV, like how to put the code in. I know some of you are having some issues and I know, you know, tech savvy, don't be worried if you're not. I'll make sure that I show it to you guys. But you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you at the next workout. Take care. Bye-bye.